right, let's go to Ari. Ari in the building. Ari, what's good? Yo, what's up, guys? You guys hear me all right? Yep, Adam Clay, what's good? Um, not much, man. Um, good takes, all you guys. Good, good show, great mm -hmm. show. Um, so, um, first of all, salute to the first Australian guy. Um, I love that we have people in Australia, but not everyone back to wants back. to feel happen. Um, so, you know, um, you know, I know, I understand why people want to make the deal, but listen, you know, I know mm -hmm. you have to pay to play, but I don't see what the problem of waiting till 2023, 2024 to pay then when you know what kind of talent you really have on this team um, because you're assuming that the young guys would play. We don't even know what we have in these, in these young guys, right? We don't know, and that's why Tibbs was such a criminal – was such a criminal last year is because we like we could have figured out and known what kind of talent we had, and now we we don't, right? Yeah. So that's a big problem, right? And listen, to JD's point, great point. The only competition the Knicks have for Spider Mitchell is thirsty Spider groupie Knicks fans that just want to throw the kitchen sink and just bring them in here. Everyone wants it to happen. These people think with their emotions. They don't. Mm. They're not thinking logically. Look at the argument you just laid out. If you're not going to even get 50 wins with, with Spider Mitchell, you're going to mortgage your entire future for 50 wins. No way. And we didn't the say last, that. The last. You're going to make, yeah, a, you're the, gonna make the, a reasonable the trade. Thing. Say it again? I said you're going to make a reasonable trade. Nobody said you're going to mortgage your entire future. You're going to make a trade that works for you to bring in a good player. Yeah, all right. Yeah, exactly. At the right price. So, like, personally, I would, if, if that. If that Obi Toppin in five picks is not enough, then I don't want I don't want Donovan Mitchell. Again, I don't know who we're negotiating against. We have all the leverage. The worst comes to worst, we could run the young guys, boost their trade value, see what we have in them, and then make a move at the deadline later on at the next off season, the off season after that. There's no reason to rush. And the last the last the last argument I'll make is that all of the teams that traded five six uh, draft picks to bring in a guy. It was Paul George, Anthony Davis, and LeBron James uh, joining LeBron James. Paul George joining Kawhi. Harden joining KD and Kyrie. So those, when they made those trades, they were instant championship contenders right off the bat. They did not have to figure it out after they, tr they mortgaged their future. I'm not trying to mortgage my future to just try to figure it out afterwards, to be a 60. Right. It's ridiculous. It's, 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 not, it's not worth it. I don't know why we're rushing this. We have all the leverage. If it's a deal that we want to make and it's a good price, then we'll make it. But why are we, why are we saying, why are people saying we need to trade five first round picks, four unprotected picks, six first round picks? I don't know why we're saying that, right? I just don't understand it. Okay. So that, that's, my, that's my take, man. And, and the last thing is also no one's untouchable. Like, as much as we love RJ and as much as we love, you know, all these guys, the only people that are untouchable in the NBA are like, Giannis, Steph, Luka, and Jokic. After that, everyone's movable, right? So, and that's the, la oh, the last thing I'll say is this. Props to Leon Rose, because everyone calls me toxic and that, you know, I always, I always hate on the front office. I'm going to give Leon Rose credit right now. Props mm -hmm. to Leon Rose. He's not being a thirsty fanboy, tossing six first-round picks like it's no big deal just to make the first or second round of the playoffs. Good for him. Good for you, Leon. Stick, stick to your guns and you'll get a better deal, or you just keep on building for the future. So props, props to the front office. And okay. thank you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Great. Appreciate the call, man. What do you guys think in the chat, man? Rate that call in the chat. One being trash, five being facts. Ari from Manhattan, Wayne.